For today's topic, I will teach you how to identify the parts of a circle. But first, let us have the definition of a circle for you to be able to be familiar with this conic section. So what is a circle? A circle is a round-shaped figure that has no corners or edges. In geometry, a circle can be defined as a closed two-dimensional curved shape. And lastly, a circle is a shape consisting of all points in a plane that are a given distance from a given point, the center. Equivalently, it is the curve traced out by a point that moves in a plane so that its distance from a given point is constant. Here are the parts of a circle. So we have the radius, sector, segment, arc, tangent, chord, circumference, and the diameter. Let us start with the center of a circle. The center of a circle is the point equidistant from the points on the edge. So in here, point P is the center of the circle. And it is equidistant on all the points on the edge. So this is the edge. These are the edge. So in here, in every point here, this is equidistant. When we say equidistant, it has the same distance. So anywhere on the edge would be equidistant on the center of a circle. Okay, next. The next one would be the radius. Radius is a straight line extending from the center of a circle or sphere to the circumference of a surface. The radius of a circle is half the diameter, the length of such a line, any radial or radiating part. So this part is the radius. This part can also be the radius. So when we say the length of this one, of this radius is 3 meters, meaning to say this part is also 3 meters since the, the radius is equidistant. So this is the center going to the edge of the circle. Those are equidistant. So radius is the length from center to the edge of a circle. Next, the arc. An arc of a circle is a portion of the circumference of the circle. The length of an arc is simply the length of its portion of the circumference. So let's say your circumference here is the totality here. So this portion is an arc only since this is part of your circumference. Next will be the chord. A chord of a circle is a straight line segment whose endpoints both lie on the circle. The infinite line extension of a chord is a second line, or just a second. More generally, a chord is a line segment joining two points on any curve. So this part is a chord. This is also a chord. This is also a chord. So the segment connecting two endpoints on the edge of a circle. Next would be the circumference, so from the Latin word circumference, meaning carrying around. It is the perimeter of a circle. When we say perimeter, it is the length of the totality of the shape. So this is the circumference, the length of the edge, if you stretch it out to form a line. So the circumference would be the arc length of the circle, as if it were opened up and straightened out to a line segment. Next would be the diameter. The diameter is the length of the line through the center that touches two points on the edge of the circle. So take note of this. Your diameter should pass on the center of the circle. So the diameter would be twice the radius. So if this part is the radius, so let's say this is 3 meters, your diameter would be 6 meters. So take note of this. Diameter is always twice as radius and it should uh, pass through the center of your circle. So we can say that this is also a diameter. This is also a diameter as long as you pass through the center of the circle. 
Okay, so let's identify the three important parts that you may use in pre-calculus. So on your equation of a circle, uh, it is very important for you to be able to identify which is the center and which is the radius. If radius is not given, at least the diameter. So in here, you have to identify each part of a circle. So first, the center. So as you can see, point E is the center. So we write here, E. The radius would be the length from the center to the edge of a circle. So, we can say that the radius is the segment EG. Also, we have segment FE. When we say the diameter, it is the length or the cord that passes through the center going to, to, to the two edges of a circle. So, in here, your diameter would be segment FG. Next, so on this circle, your center is on point A. Your radius would be segment AB and segment AC. The diameter would be segment BC. And lastly, in here, your center is point M. The radius would be segment MO and segment NN. The diameter would be segment NO. So, next. So, in here, your center is point F. The radius is segment FH and segment GF. This one. Then diameter would be segment GH. So that would be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can uh, ask your questions on the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. So uh, we will have the part 2 and part 3 for this um, series. So this will be all about circles. So the part 2 would be all about the equations of a circle. Bye! Thanks for watching!